so excited. Welcome to the Package Your Brilliant series. I'm Stacey Walker. I'm Deborah Anderson. <laughs> and today's special guest is Kathy Stowell. Hi. Yes. I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here today, Kathy. So can you share with the audience who you are, what you do, and how you help people? Sure. Um, thanks for having me. I'm Kathy yeah. Stoll. I am a business coach for moms who coach, and I help them get crystal clear on who it is that they serve, what they offer them, and to create a super simple business plan so they can start getting clients as consistent and as often as possible. I love that. Awesome. Awesome. So, I know that we have a great topic for today and it's about like finding your perfect audience. So the people that are, mm -hmm. you know, listening or watching, uh, I know that we can get stuck on this part. I, I clearly remember this when I first mm -hmm. put my offer out there, like finding the perfect audience. Can you share your experiences and maybe a couple of tips of like how you were able to find your perfect audience? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's almost switched around. It's about um, just homing in on who your ideal target audience first and then creating a service around what would most um, help them. And so how I like to look at it is almost like you are looking at your business like a movie like a feature length movie <laughs> so you get to be the director and so it's there's I when I work with my clients what we begin with is getting really clear on essentially what you can call your I help statement so deciding choosing all right everything that I'm bringing to the table including my passion to move forward in this career choice or calling and then just okay looking at what my own life experiences my training my education um, who can that best serve. So who is it you serve? And then you get to choose first, what is the struggle that you want to be known as the expert of solving? And then finally, what is the result that you can promise to those who are struggling with this that you can bring them to? So the reason the um, creating a movie analogy came up for me kind of recently, <clears throat> I have a whole bunch of analogies. So I'm trying to expand beyond the birthing analogies because they kind of like gross out some people. But <laughs> anyway, so trying to keep this a little bit more broad, no pun intended, but it's... <laughs> Sorry. So when I think about the movie analogy, the who your audience, you actually begin with who the audience is you want to serve. So um, I just watched my daughter. She's 16. For some reason, I felt compelled that she has to watch The Godfather all of a sudden. So I made her watch <laughs> Godfather with me and I was really fascinated because um, I actually took some film studies at university and just really paying attention to the music the soundtrack and how that pulls emotions so the first part of my formula for choosing your audience and then creating a service that is basically if you just keep getting and showing up for this audience it's going to like um, sell itself is to look at it like a soundtrack that um, it's almost like when you go into a recording studio. Um, I don't know if you've ever been inside one, but no, yeah, I, I've seen them. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm um, actually after university, I worked as a um, in a marketing uh, company and we did on hold commercials. So I had to go in the recording studio and, and like direct <laughs> the voice talent. You need so anyway. to visit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You need to. <laughs> <laughs> but there's dials, little like switches on this thing. So I like to look at looking at your ideal audience and you have like the switch and you can like tweak it as you go along. So thinking again about your own life experiences, what pockets of the world's communities do you feel connected to or that you are interested in? So it could be, you know, I feel more comfortable working with men or women or parents or entrepreneurs and you just like kind of like tweak as you go uh, and then you can get like more specific, um, you know, who are um, 
in a particular profession. So that's just one place to begin. And then choosing a struggle, you're looking almost like you're the screenwriter of this story. So holding this this community or industry that you feel comfortable, confident, or curious about serving um, and leaning again on what you bring to the table, um, you just like kind of settle into this fictional person's shoes and you look at what their typical day looks like or what strife they're experiencing. Um, and then you can almost see it like you're writing a story arc for a movie. So taking into account all like the mundane things that happen in their day, you know, um, you often see this in movies, like you'll see Gwyneth Paltrow, um, you know, waking up with some hot guy beside her. <laughs> going into her kitchen and then you know she looks at her phone and then there's like this look in her face is like oh my god like a frustration or Jessica Parker whatever um you know like running down Manhattan with all these like shopping bags it's like what are yeah. <laughs> and then like you know the nanny's calling so think of all those little vignettes that make up this kind of like this angst but at the center of it, there's a struggle, like a real struggle. And usually that gets unearthed about half an hour into the movie. And that is like the juicy struggle. So you kind of think, what is the real juicy struggle that I want to be the go-to person? And I'm willing to really just focus and laser in on that so I can feel confident too. And that's what you create your service is solving this particular struggle. And then what you could do with all those little vignette pieces, um, those could be tidbits for your marketing, what you talk about in your um, Instagram stories or um, in your podcast episode that week. Just be like, you know, I see you struggling with yada, yada, yada. And this ties in with the juicy struggle that I know I can help. And then finally, um, being in that director role again is looking at that happy ending. So this is almost like... Um, I don't know, just to stay with this motif, it's like when the credits roll, right? I don't know. It's kind of like, oh, you leave with that satisfied feeling. You know, if you're a real movie buff, like I said, when I was taking film studies, everybody would just sit there and watch the credits, like really like just studying them. Like, but really, you don't, you know, really you're just kind of like digesting, like, oh, that feeling. And sometimes if it's a good movie, people clap and it's just like credits rolling. So really tapping into how are they going to be feeling once the credits roll, your ideal client. So, and then, um, yeah, just really painting that picture of what they're going to be feeling after, what their life is going to look after because that they made the decision to work with you. Um, so yeah, um, so I loved how that we have that word choosing a perfect audience because it, it, it does come down to choosing. And I know that could be, you know, making decisions is very stressful. I don't know where I was yesterday. I was in the store and they asked me a question. I'm like, I don't know, dude, just give me anything. <laughs> like I'm done making decisions. So just making that decision, um, uh, committing to it, and then becoming an expert and be your own Francis Ford Coppola of your industry. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love, I know I was going to do the same thing, Deborah. I was going to clap, you know. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I Thank love you. it. Oh my goodness. So I love how you're bringing up this fun angle to deciding like who you want to choose to be your perfect audience. And I, I love movies. Mm -hmm. I never went to, you know, school for, you know, directing or any, anything, but I'm glad that you brought this in here because it makes it so much easier to break down mm -hmm. like what you're bringing to the table to get the attention of your perfect audience. So, um, like just a whole storyboard, a storyline, and we can all relate and connect to, you know, movies and stories. And I think that's a great approach and it's a fun approach. Mm -hmm. And, and also I love that you're keeping it simple. You're keeping this simple. And yes, we do get to choose. And I know that it can be overwhelming, especially for people who are new to creating their own you know, product or service and, and going through this process. So thank you for sharing this such a creative way. Oh, you're yes. so welcome. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm very yes. passionate about simplicity. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. 
simple i love simplicity over complexity mm-hmm. yes. Yes. yes 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 teach me teach me please i keep going for complexity <laughs> yeah uh, debra do you have any feedback or can i'm I- still stuck on the recording part i love that i mean i recorded my own album plus we have a recording oh. studio here so when you're time, and I learned it when I was 19, I, t- I went to one in, in Hollywood as far as the school for recording. So recording, that was, I love the whole tweaking thing. That's so true. And to me, Stacy, that makes perfect sense. The tweaking. I love yeah. it. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy. I you're so really love how you broke everything down. Yeah. So I know like what you've shared is like, I know there's so much more like this topic can go deep and it can go wide. So uh, for the people that are just definitely interested in connecting with you and learning more, not only about like, I guess if they have any questions about like anything that you've gone over and also learn more about you and what you do and how you help people, I would definitely love for you to share like where they can connect with you on line. And then I know you have a generous gift for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm on Instagram now. I used to be on Facebook a lot, but I just recently um, archived my group and now I'm in Instagram and having fun there. So um, I invite anyone to check me out at Instagram. Um, I have a secret society in there called Latte Club for coaches who want to get clients. Every morning I go in there and I tell them what to do to get a coaching client. (laughs) Um, my freebie, if you go to my website, blissbeyondnaptime.com forward slash 50, like five zero, I have 50 coaching niches examples for moms who want to coach to give examples of what a target audience could look like, like, you know, a specific struggle you want to be an expert at solving. And when you download that, it also includes a link to a really short and sweet um, training on how to home in on your own niche, your own I help statement using this process I call the BHG. And so there's only three steps. I only spend three minutes on each steps and there's a worksheet that goes with it. And I think it will offer some extra clarity in this area too. Awesome. (laughs) Yes, I love it. Love it. Again, uh, for those of you watching and listening, like simplicity over complexity complexity uh and definitely kathy has a wonderful resource for you thank you so much kathy do you have any final words of wisdom for the people that are watching and listening when it comes to them you know transitioning from that nine to five and actually creating their own income stream like what is like one thing that you wish you were told when you started your journey Never give up. That's my advice. Never give up. Um, So just sit with what your ideal day would look like. And if you are immersing yourself in a side hustle and you have this magic number, whatever that may look like in terms of income that you need to be earning and before you quit your day job, just make those little baby step plans. Like maybe have a income goal, make a plan and prioritize it, meaning devote a certain amount of hours or certain chunks, blocks of time in your week to to devote to that. And then, you know, just keep evaluating what's working and keep going for it month after month, make those tweaks, like with your little dashboard, but with your goals and um, eventually will happen if you have that determination and gumption. And if you're pursuing a side hustle, um, chances are very good. You have that within you. So just, it's just simple. If you know, you're never going to give up, you never will. And eventually you will be able to quit that job and dive into your dream. Yes, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So be sure for those of you watching and listening to download Kathy's resource and also connect with her on social media because obviously she has so much more that she can uh, give give you when it comes to this topic. And, you know, it sounds like you have a great community, uh, Kathy. So 
all of that information it should be right below us if not it's either to the left or the right you're not gonna miss it how about that <laughs> oh you my are gosh. not gonna miss it you guys are awesome i just love your enthusiasm <laughs> and your warmth this has been one of the funnest interviews i've done in a while so thank you so much oh, thank, thank you. you this has been great so there you have it we are out 